So now we've done that. We're going to move to the top of the pump, which has the air side, which is a small hole here, and that's the discharge for water, which is the big hole. Uh, also, I should mention that uh, there's a there's a hole here at the bottom. So it's a straight, it's a straight through uh, hole from the top, from the top here to the bottom here. So this is for the uh, air, for the compressed air to go inside the pump and to squeeze the to squeeze the pump uh, to uh, to make the water goes uh, all the way to the surface. So okay, so like I said, we're gonna work on the top part now. It's the air side, and this is the water side. So we have the top piece here for the water side that has a groove. That's where the other O-ring goes into. This one right here. We're just going to put that one in here. Make sure it sits properly. Like so. Then for the water part, we also have a check valve. Right, so this is actually helps from the the sample from going back to the pump. So it's like a check valve or a, a one way valve per se. So we hold the bolt valve right here and just drop it in the hole like so. And then you hold the top piece that we just put the O rings onto, and you just put it inside. And same thing, you can just press with your thumb. Or you can use actually, uh, if you have a wrench or a screwdriver, any metal object, you can just use it just to make sure it's actually fits and snug. So now you can see how do you, how do you make sure it's it's it goes all the way. You can see now it's kind of flushed with the with the top part here. This is how you know it's in place. You don't have to worry about that one. So we only have two O-rings left. A thicker one, a thicker O-ring that goes on top of the water line. Check valve, just like so. You just tuck it in with your fingers, just like so. And for the air side, we also have uh, a tiny piece of uh, O-ring that goes all the way to the top of the air line. So this way, so now, the head is complete and it's actually all the O-rings are in installed. So there's no risk of any leakages, making sure it's a snug fit. So it's all good to go. So next we have a grab plate. This actually has two holes, one for air, the smaller one, and one for the water. So these, uh, those two holes, they have to match on the pump. And this actually what helps uh, the tubing uh, helps the tubing stays down hole and it, it doesn't come off. Just the way it's designed. You can actually see a closer look. So it goes this way. So like I said, this is the air and this is the water. You just line them up. Like so. Now it's installed. And now we get the top part here. This one here you can see, uh, it says A on the side for air, and it said W for water. So same thing, just match, match the two holes together, and it should fit like just like that. Finally, we're just gonna slide the head cover on top of it just to make sure everything is is actually stays in place. So it's making sure that the head is actually uh, lining up with the inlet port here, so you can actually see the screen from the outside. So now since the top is complete, we move down to the bottom part for the bladder pump. So the bladder pump, one good way of doing this is actually squeezing the pump 
squeezing the bladder just like an accordion. Just squeeze it all the way, just like that. You can actually hold it with one hand, just like so. And then grab the top of the pump and just slide it in. Might need a little bit of twisting. Just making sure the pump goes all the way. Then you let go, and then you can see the bladder is going all the way to the top, which is perfect. Final step would be sliding the, the casing into the pump itself to seal it. Just screw it, in, screw it in like that. Give it a good screw. Make sure it doesn't move anywhere. And now your pump is ready to go. Okay, so now the pump is ready. Uh, I'm going to show you how to hook it up. So, like I mentioned before, the system components is the bladder pump, the compressor, uh, slash controller, and the deep cycle. So we, in this case, we're using the MP50. So the MP50 is actually uh, has the airline hose here. This is the airline that goes from the controller, uh, from the compressor to the pump. So the, com the controller itself has two ports. One that says, uh, I don't know if you can actually, I don't think you can see that, but there are two ports that says, uh, first one is air in, and the second one is air out. So air in means uh, you can actually, okay, keep talking. you can actually, uh, uh, the compressor actually is drawing the air from the, from air, from atmospheric air. So that's where the air from atmospheric goes inside uh, the compressor itself and into the compressor itself. And the air out is the, is the one that's going out from the compressor to the to the pump head. So we have actually uh, quick connect. We supplied this with quick connect tubing. So all you have to do is just press on it and then hook it up to the air out, just like so. Okay, making sure it's it's not going anywhere. So now. Since we hooked it up to the air out, the other side should go to the pump head to supply air to the pump. So we actually supply three different fittings depending on what kind of tubing you're using. I'm going to show you a closer look. As you can see, different sizes we have here, just for your convenience. And in our case here, we're going to use this one because that's going to fit uh, directly to the airline. So what you're going to do is uh, this is where the uh, tubing is going to go into, and this is where it's get, it gets connected to the air, air side. So just pull back the quick connect and slide this one in, let go, and now it's good. So from that, we're going to connect this is where the the airline is going is going into, right? So we're gonna connect this. The airline goes inside. Just make sure you push the tubing all the way to the end. Just making sure it's not going anywhere and it's not loose. So one side is gonna go here, while the other side of the tubing is gonna go right on top of the pump where it says A for air. So make sure also you press that all the way in so the grab plate is actually catches the tubing and uh, it's not getting any any loose when you pull on it. Okay, so once we did that, now we did the air side, it's complete. So now we move to the water side. As you can see here, the water side is the quarter inch so, uh, by three eighths. So this one actually goes all the way to the top of the pump where it says water. We just slide it in just like so. Make sure all the way down to grab the plate. 
and the other side would go, uh, of course, it's going to be on surface. Uh, whether you're collecting sample in a bucket or uh, in, a, in any kind of container. So now everything is connected. We got a compressors connected, airlines connected to the pump, water line connected to the pump, to the discharge. And finally, you're going to connect the deep cycle battery. So the deep cycle battery has two terminals, of course. You got your positive, you got your negative. It's just like a, a alligator clips here. Just make sure that you push all the way, make them like fully open, and then make sure they actually have a snug fit in, inside the, like on top of the battery itself. Because uh, oftentimes uh, people don't really get a good con contact with the terminals, so positive or negative. So just make sure you actually squeeze it all the way and then hook them up to the uh, to the pump and they're not they're not loose. So you don't lose power. Oh, so I'm not going to connect it actually right now because it's it's really loud here, but uh, you get the point. Uh, you can just connect it positive. The red goes to the positive and the ground the negative goes to the to the negative or the black side. 